Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today we're gonna to do a quick video showing you a feature enhancement we have on our WebEx devices in regards to Wi-Fi reporting and diagnostics. So quick technical video here, just really more of a tip video, but um, generally speaking, we don't recommend that you have your devices on Wi-Fi, uh, just quite simply because you typically get a better experience when they're hardwired in. Uh, with a network port, uh, we don't have to worry about interference, issues with Wi-Fi. We all know we've all been there, we've all dealt with them. Uh, however, there are use cases and instances where Wi-Fi is the best and or only option. So what we're going to do today is just kind of show you how we've uh, changed the en enhanced the menu on the devices to be able to give you better diagnostic information in regards to your Wi-Fi status. Uh, I'm also going to show this to you on the local web page of the device for more advanced troubleshooting and information. But I uh, just want to kind of show you this little tip and trick, especially if you're helping troubleshoot someone remotely uh, or you just want to know uh, better information about your Wi-Fi <coughs> on the device itself. So I'm going to go ahead and change my scene here. And <coughs> I've got uh, right here, I've got I'm remotely connected to a WebEx board I have over here, the one that I normally use. And <coughs> excuse me, even though I'm using this on a board, um, just keep in mind that this is also viable for uh, other room devices. So anything that's cloud registered right now will have this uh, new menu system and diagnostic information. Um, and anything that's on CE 914.2 or later will also have it. So if you do have an on-prem device and you've upgraded to a more recent version of CE, you'll also be able to get this uh, advanced information. So let's go ahead and go forward here. As you'll see, I'm clicking on the top of my board here. So the settings is what I'm actually going for. This could also, again, be done on a Touch 10. But um, when I go down here to the system and I go to my network connection, you'll see that I'm connected via Wi-Fi um, and I can go to advanced uh, network settings. Here, this is information that's just gonna tell me that uh, you know, what IP stack I'm enabled. Uh, if I had any manual DNS or anything set up there, this would be here where I could change that as well. But um, if I actually click on Wi-Fi right here and I click on my SSID, you'll see that I have it turned on. I am connected, it's kind of showing. This is what you used to see, just this little signal strength bar right here. Uh, and of course, you're going to see the other, you know, Wi-Fi addresses, uh, beacons that are out there that you could potentially uh, connect to. Um, but if I now click on the actual um, uh, SSID that I'm connected to, I have this new menu here called Advanced Wi-Fi Details. When I click on it, I'm going to start getting a lot more information in regards to the Wi-Fi connection that I have. So you see, obviously, the SSID. But now I'm getting information like the maximum speed capacity I have from this uh, particular connection. I see what frequency I'm on, whether I'm on the 5 gigahertz spectrum or the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, as well as my signal strength, channel, uh, and then some other information which you may or may not already have or know. Now, this is actually going to update live, kind of real time. Um, my signal is not, you know, uh, changing very much right now, so this is not going to actually adjust for me here. But if my signal strength did drop down and my max speed did adjust, this would, would actually update real time. But you can see here that this could definitely tell me if I've got you know, decent signal strength um, or what type of speed or connections uh, information that uh, I had, which could be helpful in trying to diagnose uh, any type of potential issues. So now I'm going to look at the, uh, the device uh, web page here. And you'll see here that this is the same device. I am um, connected via wireless, as you guys can see right here. But if I go to settings and if I go to statuses, I can now scroll over here to the network statuses. And all this information I've talked about plus more will actually also be in here. So if I scroll down here, I'm seeing my IP information. But now that same information of where I was is listed here. Um, and it's telling me uh, the frequency, the channel, uh, the speed, the RSS, I, uh, the signal strength, uh, the region I'm in, what type of uh, you know, security that it has as well as some of the scan results of the other uh, SSIDs that I have uh, out and around. So good for getting information as to how much interference you may have, but also just good general information uh, about the Wi-Fi uh, status for your device. So hopefully this is uh, helpful to you, um, but just a quick video, I wanted to show you uh, kind of a new feature that we had available. If you have any more information or, or requests, I guess, in regards to uh, other things that we could add to the devices to make uh, you know, troubleshooting or um, finding information on the device is easier, please comment down below and let us know. Uh, and otherwise, we'll continue to do little tip videos like this, and uh, we hope this was helpful. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.